your YouTube bestie. Today I have my beautiful friend May with me. We are gonna do a tarot reading to expose the naked truth of my love life. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Which is why our thumbnail was naked. And if you clicked into it because you want to see our naked bodies, shame on you. It's okay, I want to see it too. I just saw her. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's where they pay the big bucks to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Before getting into it, I just have one simple question for you, which is have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't, we'll be able to tell through my magical crystal ball. Mm -hmm, don't lie. The cards will show a bleak future for you if you don't subscribe. I'm not a bitch, I swear to God. But <laughs> if, if you subscribe, thank you so much. I love you. That was probably too soon to say I love you, but I do. All right, so now let's get into my love life. Yes, so we did a spread on her future love to be. So let's see what the cards have to mm. say. So the first card she drew is the Knight of Wands and this card represents her future true love. Um, so the Knight of Wands is a kind of blazing character, somebody who's going to be very flashy, maybe not somebody that everyone particularly cares for, um, but this is a very triumphant card. Um, it's a positive card as much as that sounds very negative <laughs> yeah he uh, also can i just point out that he has a horrible sense of fashion <laughs> what the fuck is that uh, what are you wearing those clothes are ragged <laughs> yeah. so your uh lover future lover would be somebody who kind of rides in gallantly on a horse like you will make an entrance for you that is your future lover right there. He sounds like a fuckboy, <laughs> which is my usual type, so. Oh, your next card that you drew is upside down. Wah, wah, wah. So you can interpret a reversed card in many different ways. For me, I kind of like to interpret them as something that hasn't quite come into motion yet. Okay. There are things that I think that you can do to kind of change that. So this is the pentacles and they do have to do with money and finances. Um, so this card upright means a lot of hard work um, So there's a lot of kind of repression in this card. It's all kind of all work no play type card um, Oh, so, so he's gonna be a workaholic there. Yes <laughs> Well, I so am too, the so. attraction might not come quickly. You might not meet this person and go I'm gonna marry this person. Okay. There might kind of be a little work for you in your future Aww. attraction. The next one is more about what the person will be like personality-wise. I'm <laughs> pretending I'm helping, but I'm really not. <laughs> uh, so this is the star. Uh, it's a very beautiful, you can see this goddess over here who, who is, is naked. naked, And um, it's a common theme today. <laughs> She's kind of filling up her cups with water and you know, nurturing the earth. Um, this is a very good card. So your future lover will be very generous, um, will kind of give you that creative juice that you like. Um, there's a lot of inspiration behind this card. So um, for their personality, I think this is a really good card. They're okay. going to be someone that's going to really take care of you, maybe not always financially, but maybe emotionally. <gasps> not financially! Not always financially, but always are you, financially. Are you serious? <laughs> This is more of your inner, like he's gonna take care of your soul as well. No, I need a sugar daddy, that's what I need. <laughs> well, that actually works right into this card right here. This is the workaholic. This is the businessman card. This is the uh, GOT card. This is <laughs> GOT card. The hard worker, um, or GOAT, the GOAT. Go oh, yeah. the goat. <laughs> like Game of the goat. What's the Game of Thrones? <laughs> well, yeah, that makes sense too. He's kind of the king of kings. This okay. is. Um, so this is actually the challenges. So this says that your future level will probably be a workaholic. So he mm. might take work more seriously than other things in his life. Um, I'm a little scared because. Everything you're saying right now sounds like my boss. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna marry your boss. <laughs> and he's already married. So whoever your future lover is, is um, probably gonna have a lot of money. We like that. This next card, which is also reversed. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is the Ace of Cups. It's upside down. Uh, this is actually a really good card. Um, 
So for me, this is the what will help card. For me, this says that you need self-love. That will help you in this relationship, in this union. Okay. This being upside down tells me that you kind of need to start loving yourself first as a person by like who you are before you meet your lover. I feel like I feel like I've been giving myself a lot of self-love recently since 2020. I've been masturbating like almost every day. I'm taking care of myself. Uh, well, then, <laughs> apparently she is because this cup is overfilling with juice. So. <laughs> So her last card is the King of Cups, which is also in reverse. So this is how she's going to meet this person. So up reverse, I'm going to say this, maybe you're not in the right place right now to meet this person. So this hasn't quite come up in an opportunity yet. So this is kind of like more of like a, when will you meet this person unknown-ish. Okay. But you're probably going to meet this person maybe through like a work related thing or a volunteer. Cause this person's gonna be very caring and very tender. So maybe you're meeting them, you work in an animal shelter part time and you're gonna meet them doing something like that or maybe something very artsy, you know, kind of creative work. You're gonna meet this person okay. in that type of situation. Okay. We don't know when we'll meet that person. Yes, but you might meet this person in kind of that type of situation. That in an sense. animal shelter. In an animal shelter. Okay. The next vlog is gonna be in an <laughs> animal shelter. I adopted my new boyfriend. <laughs> Which is a cat problem. <laughs> I'm gonna forever be alone. Oh. So your future love uh, will not be an easy road. Uh, unfortunately, there's gonna be some work involved, but it sounds like when you finally do meet this sugar daddy, he'll be the sugar daddy. He'll be the daddiest of all the sugars. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot wait. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. We love you all. You do too, right? I do, I love you guys as well. Yes. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Like we said, it's gonna be bad for you if you don't subscribe. Gosh, I swear I'm good. I run your future through the camera. It looks very bad. So please subscribe below. We sound like mean girls. I said please. <laughs> Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> Comment below on whatever you want to see next. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Killed it.